Hi there YouTube, just on the way home from work today and uh, I wanted to talk about advanced riding and the advanced riding uh, test and lessons and whatnot or whatever you want to call them, training, advanced rider training. I've only been riding since July, said it before, but I was considering when I passed my, my actual test, I was considering going straight into advanced riding lessons. And I had a chat with my dad about it, and he said, fair enough, you can do what you want. So I had a little look about doing them. Nothing really put me off it, but the more I thought about going to do advanced lessons, as a novice or a beginner, was, is it going to be too much information? I know that they operate to a system of how to ride, but is that system, as an advanced system, too advanced for a complete novice who's, well, I say never ridden before. I've ridden bikes before, but there are people who pass the tests and they're not very good still. They still don't really understand what they're supposed to be doing. So, is the advanced system too advanced for a novice? Because, like, I think that when you pass your test, you should ride around like you do obviously that's what i've did i've just been riding my bike every day and i've been learning i've been progressing i've been getting better i've been picking up tips here and there of people but i'm still not going to go for the advanced riding because i don't want to know this system when i'm still not 100 percent on everything else there is so i want some feedback ideally a uh, little conversation about it. What do people think? Do you think that you should go straight into advanced lessons just for the sake of cheaper insurance? Because I can tell you what I could do with cheaper insurance on this. It's double my car insurance. But I don't know. It didn't really seem worth it just for cheaper insurance. Just to throw an advanced system on top of the most basic knowledge. I mean, the most basic knowledge. You pass your test you're given your certificate and then you go and do advanced and then you yay I'm an advanced rider I'm really good it doesn't mean that you're good it does it give you a false sense of security on your bike is what I'm wondering because there must be people who go out there pass their bike tests do all right and then straight away do their advanced riders and then they're Mr Big I am I'm Mr Advanced Rider now I can ride however I want I know the system but is that dangerous for novice and beginner riders? Is that a dangerous way to go? Because myself, I'm doing fine on my bike and I've had no advanced training and I do alright. So, you know, that's just what I'm wondering. I will do advanced riding eventually. I don't know when. Thank you, mate. I don't know when. Maybe a year or so. But I will do advanced riding one day but i'm not in a hurry to do it now because i'm still getting used to everything i mean I, like i said i do all right and i don't have well i've had a couple i've had a couple of near misses but you learn from them and you think oh well i did this wrong myself so next time i just won't we'll just try not to do that but i was just wondering the advanced riders does it give you that false sense of security when you're not a very good seasoned rider, you've only just started and to know the advanced system, I think myself personally, I think that's a bit dangerous. You could get a 17 year old lad on his 125, yes it's only a 125, but he could go out, pass his bike test on his 125, full license, he's got to ride that till he's 19. So should he then be able to go and do advanced riding on his 125 or should he have to wait till he's 19 to do the advanced riding i don't know if there's any age range that you have to be to do it but can a 17 year old just go and do advanced riding and go oh i'm an advanced rider now i'm really good i can do i can ride how i want i've got this system it will keep me safe but does that actually make it more dangerous that's the question that's all i really wanted to say and actually while i'm at it Knee, knee dragging I've been trying I won't lie I have been trying to get my knee down here and there and hanging off the bike and that and I've, I've got it pretty much um, 
I'd say I'm, well, I'm a lot more comfortable hanging off the bike now than I was the first few times that I tried it. I can hang off, I can move side to side, but I just just haven't got my knee down yet. Um, it doesn't bother me, I'm not in a hurry to do it. I mean, I'm not really attempting to do it, but some corners I'll get to, I will just hang off the bike and see what happens. Stick my knee out, you know. But is it necessary? Is it necessary to go around corners hanging off of your bike on public roads? Again, I don't think it is. I tend to try it when the roads are quiet anyway, and then I don't get caught doing it. But is it necessary to drag your knee everywhere on all the bends and stuff? I see people when I'm riding to and from work and and when I'm riding around sometimes and they're, they're knee dragging sometimes, you know what I mean? I see it and I have give it a go quite a few times and a few big roundabouts and stuff but I'm not one to go round and round and round about till I've got it. If I know a big roundabout and I'm going past it, I'll try the once. I won't go all the way around the roundabout. I don't like doing that just in case the car pulls out. I'll go around the roundabout to the exit I want, let's say 90 degrees, like third exit or whatever you want to call it, and I'll hang off the bike and stick my knee out. And I'm really close on a few few roundabouts that I know, but I just wanted to know, is it really necessary? What do other people think of this on the tube of you, the YouTube, the tube you, you know what I mean? What do you two think? I just wondered really. So that's advanced riding and knee dragging. Is it necessary? I don't know. You tell me. And I'm just on the way home. So I'll see y'all later.